In this video, we'll help you understand and operate the Human Machine Interface, or HMI, on the York Mission Critical Horizontal Computer Room Air Handler. The York Mission Critical Horizontal Computer Room Air Handlers provide scalability, flexibility, and dependability for mission critical data centers. And the HMI makes it easy for operators and engineers to visualize and monitor set points, alarms, and capacities. On system startup, the HMI dashboard screen displays the basic system data and performance history of the unit. In the upper left-hand corner of the dashboard screen, the return temperature, or current temperature, of the unit is displayed. Underneath is the trend graph, showing a set point of 68 degrees. The blue dot represents the set point, and the red dot shows the alarm limit for return temperature. On the right-hand side of the display screen, the information for discharge temperature is shown. Current temperature, set point temperature, and alarm limits are displayed. When the unit is in operation, trend data is shown, which compares the set point to the current temperature across the displayed graph. Options for displaying 1, 8, or 24-hour time periods are available to view the historical data of return air and discharge temperatures. In the lower left-hand corner of the screen, the fan supply flow output, displayed as CFM, and percent of valve open for cooling output is displayed. In the bottom center of the screen, alarms are displayed as icons. Different alarm icons are shown based on the type of alarm activated. In the bottom right part of the screen, fan status, whether the fans are on or off, is displayed. If the fans go into alarm status, the fan icon turns red. On the bottom of the screen, Navigation icons allow the user to choose between the dashboard or other available information screens. These other screens include commissioning, general diagnostics, and a unit diagram. The unit status screen includes performance data from the system, cooling output, supply fan status, temperatures, and filter status. When any component is in alarm, green icons will turn red. For instance, when the system is off, the fan icon in the middle of the screen will turn red and will show alarm on the display. To access set point and alarm settings, select the last icon in the bottom navigation. This screen offers assistance during commissioning of the unit. From this screen, any site-specific requirements can be adjusted. Simply change the value by entering the desired number and pressing OK. To exit without making changes, select Escape. Set points, minimum and maximum fan settings, and alarm settings for high temperature values can all be adjusted from this screen. Once the desired points are set, select OK and those values are saved. Choosing the fourth icon on the footer navigation displays the active values of the system as well as set points. This data is also available in a pictorial representation from the previous commissioning screen. To view the alarm screen, click on the third icon in the bottom navigation. When elements of this system go into alarm, the icon for the alarm display will include a red circle with a value indicating the number of alarms triggered. The alarm screen displays the alarm log and event log. The alarm log shows the type of alarm being triggered and the value or number of active alarms for that specific alarm log item. The event log displays where in the system the alarm is triggered. The area where the alarm is taking place will be displayed in red. To clear alarms, choose the check icon in the bottom navigation and select yes from the pop-up that displays. Each alarm must be cleared line by line. The trend data can be viewed by choosing the second icon in the bottom navigation. The trend data screen displays the return temperature, discharge temperature, and airflow data. To select which trend to view, toggle the specific data set by choosing between the three options that display in the center of the screen. The bottom left chart displays the filter pressure in inches of water, and the bottom right displays a percentage of output flow. To return to the home screen, select the home screen icon located in the center of the bottom navigation. It is possible from this screen to also view unit efficiency. To view this screen, select the arrow in the upper right hand corner of the screen. This screen shows unit efficiency in BTU hours, in increments of 1 day, 7 days, or 30 days. To return to the overview screen, select the arrow in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Typically. This home screen is preferable to keep as the standard display for the unit because it makes checking performance and alarm identification easier for technicians. 
If you have any additional questions about the HMI, or to learn more about the York Mission Critical Horizontal Computer Room Air Handlers, visit york.com slash mch.